Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. So as you can see in the working bench I have a very big heat sinks. This is because uh, in the last few three weeks I am um, designing my own schematic on a class A single ended audio amplifier because I want to get a very nice sound and when you want to get a very nice sound the efficiency you need to be compromised because you cannot have high fidelity and in the same time also high efficiency so let's get closer to my working bench and to talk more about this amplifier so this is my amplifier which i'm uh, the last couple of weeks three weeks i'm uh, keep uh, tinkering tweaking around changing values uh, changing positions of the resistor capacitors and uh, i think i reached to the final uh, final uh, results like uh, i can't do nothing more than than what is doing right now i can boost the power more so practically this is the maximum what i can do in this amplifier so we have a dual rail power supply positive ground and negative it uh, goes to this amplifier with dual 30 volts so positive 30 volts zero and negative 30 volts and is a single ended because you're gonna see in a minute when i'm gonna show you a bit the schematic and uh, walk you through the schematic how i come out with this one and uh, on kaisen current it's uh, drawing almost three amps continuously and for three amps Questing current, you need a very big heat sink like this one. Otherwise, the transistors, even with this heat sink, the transistors run about 90 degrees and the heat sink reach almost uh, 50 degrees. So, yeah, it's dissipating, but not so much fast, even if it's quite big like this one. And then we have uh, across the, the emitter resistor, I have a, a bias of oh, 800 millivolts something like that across one resistor emitter resistor of this amplifier but first let me just power on and play a few songs to see how it sounds and then we're gonna look a bit to the schematic and i'm gonna explain a bit things what i did so far okay so you can see already i turn on the power supply so the amplifier now is powered on so the quiescent current for the this is the negative side so i have 1.75 amps and this is the positive side one one amp point seventy six so this is the quiescent current that is drawing so i say almost three amps over the three amps i can lower but now i over bias it just because uh, uh, i want to have a really nice sound on it and now let me show you also on the desk um, the other multimeters what is measuring the DC offset and also the bias uh, resistor. So here we go. This is connected to the emitter resistor which is measuring the bias. So it's biased on 850 millivolts. Still need a bit of time to get a bit warm, more warm. And this is the DC offset which is connected to the speaker terminal. And it's about zero volts in DC offset on the output. So there is no DC voltage on the speaker at all because this one is not yet set up. So that's why I still bouncing a bit. But once this one is set up to the right temperature, the heat sink and it stabilize everything. It needs a bit of time because it's class A and we are drawing continuously almost three amp and something. And yeah, it's taking a time to get stabilized. So maybe like, uh, let's see. 10 minutes sitting just like that and then it will gonna be already set let me now set up a bit of uh, because see it's a bit down but i can also setting up the the dc voltage with this trim port here i have a trim port for dc voltage and one for the quiescent current so if i turn a bit see i can i can setting up the the dc offset just let me get the right position So let's see we are about there see again zero so let me now um, connect uh, a source of sound let me also connect the speaker put the microphone in the front of speaker and uh, record a bit to see how it's doing so i set up my microphone in the front of the speaker i'm using still this uh, crappy cheap uh, speaker just in case that anything goes wrong bang i'm not burning up some expensive speakers 
So I set up on this distance because I don't want to pick up too much noise between the speaker and the microphones like that I can get the best sound possible from, from it. So let's play a sound and see how it sounds. So this is the schematic I come out with. So it's a single ended because the signal path is coming through here, goes to only one transistor, it's passed to the next transistor and then it's passed to the next transistor. As you can see this transistor over here doesn't have nothing to do with the signal path because these two here are doing the current constant, constant current to keep uh, the amplifier stable. Here down we have the stream port with which one I adjusted the, D, uh, the DC offset over here on the output. And with this stream port we are um, biasing the transistors over here using the stream port. When are you designing uh, a circuit, a schematic of an amplifier or anything else in general, you need to do one thing. First put a balance on the middle and on one side you put um, high fidelity in this case because it's a, an amplifier and the power and in the other side you put the efficiency. And for sure if you want the efficiency more when you boost the efficiency up it will gonna go down the the high fidelity. And it's same if you want more high fidelity definitely you need to lose on, on the efficiency because the class A always has low efficiency but a really high good uh, fidelity. And and then the A, B, they stay a bit on the middle, some place, and the class D, it's opposite, high efficiency, but the fidelity is very low. So that's why I was keep doing and researching to make the most high fidelity amplifier, because I don't care about the efficiency. If I want to listen 2-3 songs a day, how many power I can consume for 2-3 songs a day to listen pure and to, 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 to feel the songs? If I want just noise all day, yeah, I'm gonna use a class D, I don't care, it's just to play there continuously and like that I'm sure I'm not drawing too much power. I hope you enjoy this video so far and uh, stay tuned because uh, 
here and some bug uh, let me get I gra I gather all the components for a stereo version because I design also the trial version of the PCB for this amplifier let me find them because I received them the other day so this is the PCBs for a stereo version so I can't wait to start populate them and to make them and to do also some measurements because on the breadboard you understand there is just a contact between two pieces of uh, metal parts the component lead and the breadboard so it's not a solder joint so yeah I did some measurements but the measurements are not that much uh, good how it will gonna be when I'm gonna build properly these two PCBs and I'm gonna try the PCB so that's why stay tuned please subscribe activate the notification bell to don't miss the next part of this uh, amplifier when I populate these boards and we're gonna have again a sound test on stereo version this, this way and also we're gonna do some measurement through oscilloscope with these PCB boards so if you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give me a like please subscribe activate notification bell to don't miss my next project and until the next video guys have a good day and bye bye